Welcome. You are listening to Aftersight. This recording is intended solely for individuals who are blind or have low vision. Thank you for joining us for audiobook news read by Sarah, featuring Audiophile magazine. And let's start off today with some children and family listening title reviews. The Night Raven, Moonwind Mysteries, Book 1, by Johann Rundberg, translated by A.A. A. Prime, read by Nina Indus. Narrator Nina Indus establishes a determined voice for 12-year-old Mika, an orphan in 1880 Sweden, who learns of a murder when a baby girl is dropped off at her orphanage in the middle of the night. Now Mika is determined to use her skills to help the local detective identify the killer of a baby's mother. Indus captures Mika's emotions as she deals with the dire living conditions in the orphanage and finds hope in doing everything she can to help solve the crime and keep others safe. Listeners, especially historical fiction fans, will cheer Mika on as she pieces together the truth in this mystery. It's available from Brilliance Audio, 4.25 hours long, unabridged, recommended for ages 8 and up. Trade Edition Digital Download, ISBN 979 8400116186 8400116186 for 28.99 also as CD or MP3 The Lightkeeper by Christina Wallace read by EM Wild EM Wild is perfect at narrating this middle school fantasy novel the first in a series Isaac discovers a chest full of glowing glass balls in the attic He inadvertently drops one releasing a fairy who must perform three tasks in order to become free Wild captures the wonder and joy of a boy with unlimited power and, sadly, a lack of thought about consequences. Soon, Isaac is releasing more fairies, and Wild conveys each fairy's personality. In short order, the town is filled with mishaps and mischief, and Isaac must learn, with assistance from his strange neighbor, how to inhabit his role as lightkeeper to recapture the fairies. Wilde powerfully captures all the wonder, regret, exasperation, and fear that Isaac feels. It's available from Christina Wallace, 7.75 hours, unabridged. Recommended for ages 8 and up. Trade Edition, digital download for 19.95. The Eyes and the Impossible by Dave Eggers, read by Ethan Hawke. Ethan Hawke delivers a spectacular performance of Dave Eggers' 2024 Newbury Medal-winning middle-grade animal story in which Eggers assures us the dogs are dogs, the birds are birds, goats are goats, the bison bison. Hawke is more than up to the task of interpreting the rich, complex language, describing creatures who, along with three penned bison, maintain the equilibrium of a wooded park bordering the sea. Through his judicious use of inflection, accent, and pacing, Hawke creates convincing voices for all the animals, saving his most authentic voice for Johannes, doggiest of dogs, fastest of the fast, the eyes of the park. This outstanding combination of extraordinary writing and exceptional narration makes for a remarkable family listening experience. It's available from Listening Library, 5.25 hours unabridged. Trade Edition Digital Download, ISBN 978-059-361-3016 for $15. Library Edition has Digital Download, ISBN 978-059-361-3023 for $38. Dogtown by Catherine Applegate and Jennifer Choldenko, read by Cassandra Morris. Narrator Cassandra Morris creates a youthful and energetic voice for Chance, a dog who lives in a shelter called Dogtown that houses both living dogs and robotic dogs. Chance befriends one of the robotic dogs named Metalhead. As they both hope to find better lives, Morris captures Chance's upbeat attitude, even as she reveals the tragic events that brought her to Dogtown in the first place. Musical interludes play between chapters, helping to define the short segments. Sound effects such as dogs barking set the scenes. Listeners and dog lovers alike will cheer on Chance as she sets off on the ultimate adventure to find her way home. It's available from Macmillan Audio, 3.25 hours long, unabridged, recommended for ages 8 and up. Trade Edition Digital Download, ISBN 978-125-033-3681 for 10.99. 
And now for some young adult titles. Check and Mate by Ali Hazelwood, read by Carissa Vacker. Carissa Vacker shines brightly as she immerses listeners in the world of professional chess. Mallory Greenleaf once loved chess, but put it aside to help support her mother and sisters. Agreeing to play in one last tournament, she unknowingly defeats the current world chess champion, the infamous king killer Nolan Sawyer. Nolan is intrigued and wants to cross pawns with Mallory again. As she narrates in the first person, Vacker's vibrant, expressive tone captures Mallory's conflicted and passionate personality. Vacker flawlessly transitions from character to character, creating a unique voice for each, while also presenting various accents. Listeners will enjoy learning about the world of competitive chess and fall in love with Mallory and Nolan as they go from rivals to lovers. Available from Listening Library, nine and a half hours long, unabridged. Recommended for ages fourteen and up. Trade edition, digital download. ISBN nine seven eight zero five nine three seven four four five three six for twenty five dollars. Library edition, digital download. ISBN nine seven eight zero five nine three seven four four five four three for sixty three dollars. My Fair Brady by Brian D. Kennedy, read by Michael Crouch and Kevin R. Free. Kevin R. Free and Michael Crouch delight listeners in this charming and heartfelt romance, a combination of My Fair Lady and the teen movie classic She's All That. Wade Westmore has always been the star of a show, but when his ex lands the lead role in the new school musical, his ego is put in check. Elijah Brady, on the other hand, is used to being in the background and agrees to work backstage for the musical. Together, these two arrange to help each other get what they want. Free's warm, confident tone complements Wade's charismatic demeanor, while Crouch creates a youthful, vulnerable voice that matches Elijah's quiet, shy persona. Listeners' hearts will be warmed when these two teenagers find their happily ever after together. It's available from Harper Audio, nine and a half hours long, unabridged. Recommended for ages fourteen and up. Trade edition, digital download. ISBN nine seven eight zero zero six three zero eight five seven four nine for twenty seven ninety nine. A fragile enchantment by Alison Saft, read by Fran Burgoyne. Fran Burgoyne depicts a swoony romanticy between a seamstress and a prince. Neve O'Connor has come to Avaland to improve her future, not to fall in love with the one man she cannot have. Kit Carmine, younger son of a king, is engaged to a woman he does not love. Burgoyne demonstrates Neve's fierce pride in her heritage by giving her a strong accent she refuses to soften, as well as an unshakable awareness of her consummate professional skill. Burgoyne portrays Kit conversely as prickly and grumpy. Deeply uncomfortable with the expectations of him as a prince, as well as societal rules in general, as Neve and Kit slowly come to know each other, Burgoyne captures the aching depth of their feelings. It's available from Macmillan Audio, fourteen hours long, unabridged. Recommended for ages fourteen and up. Trade edition, digital download. ISBN nine seven eight one two five zero three three one two five zero for thirty two ninety nine. And narrator Fran Burgoyne says it was a pleasure to be able to draw on my own Irish heritage to tell Neve's story. Most ardently, a Pride and Prejudice remix, remix classics, book nine, by Gabe Cole Navoa, read by Harrison Knights. Harrison Knights gives a quietly charming performance of this queer young adult retelling of Pride and Prejudice. He portrays Oliver Bennett, a trans boy who just wants to live openly as himself, with a soft voice that sometimes etches into despair, but just as often warms with humor. When Oliver meets Darcy on one of the rare nights he's out in London as himself, they form an instant connection. But as they become closer, Oliver struggles with the knowledge that Darcy also knows him as Elizabeth, with whom Darcy has no connection to speak of. Knight perfectly captures Darcy's gruffness. Mrs. Bennet's pushiness and Mr. Bennet's unconditional love for his son—a poignant retelling that will delight Austen fans and newcomers alike. Available from Macmillan Audio, seven and a half hours long, unabridged. Recommended for ages twelve and up. 
Trade Edition Digital Download ISBN 9781250327260 for 1999 Library Edition Digital Download ISBN 9781250364968 for 6999 Bring Me Your Midnight by Rachel Griffin read by Sophie Amos In this classic tale of true love versus duty Narrator Sophie Amos gives a thrilling performance that teen fantasy lovers will adore. Tana Fairchild is a young witch who was raised for one thing only, to marry Landon, the governor's son from the mainland, whom she does not know. Tana is fine with this until she meets Wolf, a witch from the old coven who practices the forbidden kind of magic. Through the drama Amos creates with her passionate delivery of a story and her ability to infuse her character portrayals with a little magic of her own, she creates a siren song for her listeners. Listeners will feel the tug Tana feels for her rogue love, Wolf. Her performance is hypnotic, sultry, and powerful. It's available from recorded books 11 and a half hours long and abridged, recommended for ages 14 and up. Library edition digital download ISBN 9798889564928 for 2499 also as CD or MP3 The Space Between Here and Now by Sarah Sook read by Joy Osmansky With consistent pacing and passion Joy Osmansky delivers this fascinating audiobook about Amy's desperation to find answers about her missing mother Amy has a rare condition that causes her to travel through time to revisit her memories when she is triggered by nostalgic smells. Her father's sparse explanation about her mother doesn't match what she experiences while reliving her childhood, and only an impromptu trip to Korea might give her the answer she seeks. Osmansky shifts smoothly between Korean and English, as well as a few other accents. She voices Amy thoughtfully, depicting her emotions faithfully as she struggles to come to terms with her distant father and absent mother. Her youthful voice for young Amy is particularly charming. It's available from Harper Audio, 7.75 hours unabridged. Recommended for ages 12 and up. Trade Edition Digital Download, ISBN 978-0063255167. For twenty seven ninety nine, and now let's move on to general fiction titles. A grandmother begins the story by Michelle Porter, read by Michelle Porter, Jenny Lozen, Tara Sky, Tantu Cardinal, Dakota Ray Herbert, Bernard Starlight, L. Maya Tailfeathers, Wesley French, Jenny Pudovic, Lisa Cromarty, Monique Mujica, Alison Dion, Jacob McInnes, Yolanda Bunnell, and Brevni Caribou. Sixteen narrators, many indigenous, join their voices to deliver memoirist, poet Michelle Porter's haunting debut novel. Matriarch Mame, voiced by actor Tantu Cardinal, has passed on but can't settle in the afterlife as connections to her daughter Genevieve, granddaughter Lucy, and great-great-granddaughter Carter keep her tethered to this world. Genevieve, grittily voiced by Janny Lawson, is seeking treatment for alcohol abuse while her daughter Lucy, boldly portrayed by Monique Mujica, tries to convince her own granddaughter, snarky but wounded Carter, narrated by Jenny Pudovic, to help her die. These vibrant, determined women are surrounded by others, including bison, two dogs, a car named Bats, and even the prairie itself, and are supported by them. Porter's dreamlike writing is enhanced by a delicate soundtrack interwoven with a playful fiddle and gently thrumming drums. It's available from Algonquin Books, 8.75 hours unabridged. Trade Edition Digital Download, ISBN 978-166-863-2673 for $27.99. Wandering Stars by Tommy Orange, read by Sean Taylor Corbett, McLeod Andrews, Alma Cuervo, Curtis Michael Holland, Calvin Joel, Phil Ava, Emmanuel Chumacero, Christian Young, and Charlie Flight. This audiobook reveals that Orange is among the most insightful novelists writing today and a poet of pain. Among this segmented novel's stellar performances, Charlie Flight's reading of Victoria Bearshield's dramatic monologue to her unborn daughter is a tour de force a haunting performance with an expressive tone and intimate voice. 
Alma Cuervo portrays Jackie Redfeather and Victoria, the unborn infant, now a grandmother, with candor, compassion, and thoughtful pace. Sean Taylor Corbett performs some of the narration, in particular Vicky de Coeur for Indian Rights, and is especially convincing as the wounded Orville Redfeather. Calvin Joyal captures Lonnie, the innocent seeker, Set in Oakland, Orange's immersive novel is a compelling look at the experience of urban Indians, a powerful listening experience. It's available from Random House Audio, 11 hours long, unabridged. Trade Edition Digital Download, ISBN 978-059-3824542 for $25, also available as CD. Books on Tape has the Library Edition Digital Download, ISBN 978-059-382-4559 for $95. The Sun Sets in Singapore by Kahinde Fadipe, read by Dami Olukoya. Dami Olukoya juggles the three central female characters in this audiobook. The lives of these expatriates play out amid the luxury of Singapore. Olakoya moves between Dara, an ambitious lawyer, Amaka, a banker obsessed with designer brands, and Lillian, the newbie expat wife. Olakoya sets a quick pace, playing up the humor laced throughout the dialogue. This fast-moving story brings the women together through their strongest desires. Olakoya expertly builds suspense and carries listeners along. Will Dara lose her promotion due to a lack of sleep, rising stress, and her inability to navigate office politics? Can Amaka afford to keep shopping at the astonishing rate she does? And will Lillian's past come back to threaten everything she holds dear? It's available from Hachette Audio, 12 and a half hours long, unabridged. Trade Edition Digital Download, ISBN 978-166-863-2208. For twenty-seven ninety-nine, Prophet Song by Paul Lynch, read by Jerry O'Brien. Harrowing, evocative, and timely, this twenty twenty-three Booker Prize winner takes listeners on a deep dive into what happens when a democracy devolves into totalitarianism. Set in Dublin, the story begins when Eilish Stack finds officers from a secret police at her door, looking for her husband. An undefined yet clearly political emergency is happening and all the rules pertaining to individual rights are changing. Larry, a trade unionist at the front lines of activism, is a target. O'Brien captures the tension, fear and uncertainty as Eilish and those around her struggle to keep their family safe. O'Brien serves as the messenger for the query Lynch poses. Since this can happen anywhere, how would you respond? Listeners will find themselves thinking about this question long after the story ends. It's available from Belinda Audio, eight and a half hours long, unabridged. Trade edition digital download, $19.09, also available as CD or MP3, and no ISBN was provided. Mercury by Amy Jo Burns, read by Maria Liatis. Narrator Maria Liatis is superb at portraying both the characters in this novel and the rural environment they inhabit. It's 1990, not far from Interstate 80. Marley and her mother arrive in the Pennsylvania town and soon encounter two brothers, one of which Marley will marry at a young age. But she remains close to both. The discovery of a skeleton in the church attic threatens to upend these lives. Burns' audiobook requires a performance that balances its combination of family drama and police procedural. Liatis is skilled at capturing the spirit of these fascinating, flawed characters, providing listeners a sweeping experience that offers a deep understanding of humanity. It's available from Macmillan Audio, 12 hours long, unabridged. Trade Edition Digital Download, ISBN 978-125-033-8990 for $26.99. And let's finish off with some mystery and suspense titles. Broken Bay, Detective Sergeant Mark Ariti, Book 3, by Margaret Hickey, read by Henry Nixon. Narrator Henry Nixon builds the panic that listeners will feel intensely as characters become trapped in underwater caves and grow desperate for their next breaths. Nixon, with his talent for accents, transports listeners to South Australia's limestone coast, known for cave diving. 
He differentiates characters listeners will cheer for, fear for, and be compelled to know. While on vacation, Detective Sergeant Mark Ritti is drawn into a complicated situation that spans decades and involves multiple crimes and two prominent families in a coastal town. The seamless blend of Hickey's narrative prowess and Nixon's exemplary performance ensures an engaging experience, captivating listeners until the climactic end and leaving them eager for the next installment in this audiobook series. It's available from Penguin Random House Australia Audio, 11.75 hours unabridged. Trade edition digital download for 23.65. Kill Show, a true crime novel by Daniel Swearenbecker, read by Megan Tusing, Desmond Manny, Pun Bandu, Melissa Redmond, Byron Wagner, Christine Lakin, Stacy Gonzalez, Exy Sands, Fred Sanders, Sarah Morsey, Chris McClinton, and Robert Fass. An ensemble of wildly talented narrators elevates this fictional true crime case told through first-person interviews. The narrators infuse a generous amount of personality and empathy into their portrayals of the community, media, and family involved in the tragic case of missing teenager Sarah Parcell. Robert Fass's weary voice portrays Dave, Sarah's downtrodden father, as he recollects the case from prison. Fass's narration is made to sound like a telephone call, a device that creates a more immersive experience for listeners. Melissa Redmond's assertive performance embodies a gusty TV producer who turns the case into a media spectacle, to the dismay of Detective Cauldron, whose no-nonsense attitude is evoked by Pumbandu in a gruff voice. A compelling audio with a winning combination of narrators. Available from Harper Audio, eight hours long, unabridged. Trade Edition Digital Download, ISBN 978-006-332-1434 for $26.99. The Lies You Wrote, Risa Susanto, Book 1, by Brianna Labuscus, read by Caroline Hewitt. This twisty tale challenges Caroline Hewitt to depict the panoply of colorful characters created by Labuscus. Raisa Susanto, one of the FBI's best forensics linguists, is assigned to investigate a recent murder that occurred 25 years to the day after a murder-suicide. Raisa and psychologist Callum Kilkenny use their skills to read between the lines of a case investigators believe to be solved long ago. Was the suicide note at the murder scene a fake? Hewitt matches Labuska's breakneck pacing and adds anguish to a heartbreaking story. Risa uncovers the answers with diligence, nail-biting urgency and surprising turns. Hewitt shines with a creeping tone of paranoia as Labuska's procedural unfolds. It's available from Brilliance Audio, 10 hours long, unabridged. Trade Edition Digital Download, ISBN 979-840-014-7944 for $42.99. Also available as CD or MP3. The Engagement Party by Darby Kane, read by Carlotta Brenton. Narrator Carlotta Brenton transports listeners to a private island in coastal Maine where a group of friends united by hidden secrets meet to celebrate an engagement. Brenton's talented performance builds the tension in this Christie-esque locked-room mystery as the deeply unpleasant characters find that the consequences of previous actions are fast catching up with them. Brenton highlights the characters' traits and flaws with ease, clearly differentiating both the males and females. Brenton's timing is spot on. She keeps to a well-balanced pace as the plot twists and turns, allowing listeners to savour every new development. It's available from Harper Audio, ten and a half hours long, unabridged. Trade edition, digital download, ISBN 978-006-322-5657 for $27.99. And that's it for me. Thank you for joining us for Audiobook News, read by Sarah. You're listening to Aftersight. Being homeless or at risk of homelessness can be an incredibly challenging and frightening experience. 
Fortunately, there are a variety of resources available to help you with housing, health care, and food access needs. Finding a safe and stable place to stay is a top priority when you're homeless or at risk of homelessness. Here are some resources that can help. The Transitional Living Program for Youth, or TLP. This program is run by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services and provides eligible youth between the ages of 16 to 22 with safe and stable living options for up to 21 months, as well as support services. To find the closest center to you, call 1-800-621-4000. That's 1-800-621-4000. 211. This nationwide resource is available 24-7 and can help you connect with local services, including housing programs, shelters, food banks, and more. To learn more about your local hotline, visit the 211 website or call 211. Projects for Assistance and Transition from Homelessness or PATH if you suffer from mental illness and are facing homelessness, PATH may be able to help. PATH can assist with substance abuse issues, housing services, and finding more resources in your area. To find the closest PATH program, call 1-877-726-4727. That's 1-877-726-4727. 4727. The Homeless Shelter Directory. This online directory can help you find the shelter closest to you. Visit www.homelessshelterdirectory.org. Do you work or frequently visit a high rise office building? It's important to know what to do in case of a fire alarm. Your safety and the safety of others depends on it. First, familiarize yourself with the building's evacuation plan. The plan should be posted in high traffic areas for easy access. Make sure you and your coworkers practice your floor's escape plan regularly. Remember, fire exits, doorways, halls, and stairways should never be blocked. If you notice any damaged fire safety devices, Report it to management immediately. If the fire alarm goes off while you're in your office, remain calm and follow these steps recommended by the Illinois Emergency Management Agency, IEMA. 1. Feel the door with the back of your hand. If it's warm, do not open it. 2. Stay in your office and seal the cracks around the door with towels, clothing, or tape. Cover vents to prevent smoke from entering. 3. Call 911 and provide your precise location to the fire department. 4. Wait near a window and signal for help by waving a piece of clothing or using a flashlight. Even if the door feels cool, exercise caution. Stay low to the ground and open the door slightly to check for smoke or fire on the other side. If it's clear, follow your office's evacuation plan. However, if you encounter smoke or fire, return to your office and follow the previously mentioned steps. Once you have successfully evacuated the building, do not re-enter for any reason until the fire department gives the all-clear signal. Remember, being prepared and knowing what to do in an emergency can save lives. Take the time to understand your building's evacuation plan and practice it regularly. Stay calm, stay safe. SNAP, the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, is the largest federal nutrition program in the U.S. SNAP helps millions of Americans buy healthy food each year. Check eligibility and apply at your state's SNAP agency website or local office. Approved clients will receive benefits on an EBT card, loaded monthly. 
Use it like a debit card at stores for essential food items. Learn more at www.benefits.gov and use the Benefit Finder questionnaire.